This React Native tutorial shows how to build voice and video calls into your app with Zigo Cloud. To embed call feature, we are going to integrate and customize Zigo Cloud pre-built UI kit SDK into your app. Then users start voice, video, or text chat through Zigo Cloud real-time network. It's that simple. Now, we are in a React Native environment. We start from zero to integrate the Zigo call kit. The first step is to create a new React Native app project, and on this page, you might need to wait a while before you start it. Until now, you can run the new project's default app and wait for it to load. Okay, now we're starting to add dependencies in package.json. And we need to copy these codes in there like this. Then we need to enter the yarn install on the terminal to download the dependencies and wait for it to download. It has now finished downloading and is ready for the next step. Okay, now open the app.js to modify the default code. And there, we implement a home page with a call button. After that, we need to restart the app. And wait for minutes, you can now see the modified home page screen. Afterward, let us create a call page in your app. We are going to take an important step, which is using the Zigo UI kit pre-built call in your project. Now you can import the SDK like this, and use the Zigo UI kit pre-built call in call page. You need to enter your app ID and app sign, and I will show you how to find them in Zigo Cloud Admin Console. Here is the page of the console after you sign in. Create your own project. And then click the edit button. Okay. You can directly copy your app ID and app sign here. Now back to VS Code, we keep going on the call page. In our test program, we use random strings as a user ID and username. If you have your own user account system, you can use the real user ID and username. Users that join the call with the same call ID can talk to each other. You can customize the rules of call ID as you like, according to your business logic. Let's keep finishing all the code for this step. Okay, here we are. For the second main step, we are going to help you configure your project for Android and iOS. Let's see how Android works. Firstly, you need to add app permissions. Continuously open the android.src.main.android manifest and add the following code, just like this. Secondly, we need to prevent obfuscation of the SDK public class names. Then, open the android.app.proguardrules.pro and then add the following code as shown. That is the part for Android, and we keep going on adding iOS permissions. Open the ios.call underscore rn.info plus dot and add the following code to the dict part. Now, we need to restart the application. Okay. Now you have finished all the steps. You can make a new call by clicking the button. You also can run and test your app on your device simply. Voice and video calls now can be used in your app. And that is all for integrating call kit and building call features in React Native. Let's get started. 